Hey ladies and gents and welcome back. So Heath and I are going to be working together today on this pair of heritage style boots. We are, I'm not sure of the brand. The guy that owns these pulled out the liners. There's nothing stamped on the inside so I don't know the brand of them. But they are good. You're welted. It does look like a really well made boot. But as you can see he brought them into us when one of the sole protectors is completely came off. He started wearing into the sole of, of that one. Uh, he definitely wore past the hill pads and has been wearing up into the hill block. So they're in really rough shape and they sh he should have gotten them to us earlier than this, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to completely redo these and he wants to go with a crepe style sole. Christy so, sole. A Christy sole. Mm -hmm. So it's going to look really good. So uh, I think you're going to be excited. And also let you know, make sure you watch this video through because we do have a contest that we're, we've discussed and we're actually going to start doing this periodically and it's going to change all the time. But uh, stay tuned because we're going to give some instructions for that. Let's go. Alright, get these heel pads off here. Now look, real quick as you can see. <clears throat> I know we've pointed out before, but you can see that he completely wore past this hill pad and actually started wearing into his block. So again, like we've said in our other videos, check your shoes. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not eating into the hill block there. So like I tell folks, your hill block is your... We're not going to reuse these hill blocks either like we do on a lot of resoles. If I were keeping a leather sole or putting a rubber um, like Danite on here, I would probably want to reuse these heel blocks, but we don't need to on this one. Good Lord, all right. Got it off. All right, so a couple things. Uh, leather insole. Uh, I did notice that the um, canvas that holds the rib on, it actually looks like it was stitched all the way through to the leather, which I actually like that because I've seen even on some higher end shoes where this is just held on by glue. And sometimes if it comes off, that's what can lose its shape and this whole, um, the welt, you know. So it's basically the shape is depending on this glue holding and it looks like it was stitched in. Um, I don't really want to pull this up to see, but you know, I wish I knew what type of shoe this was though. Uh, it's got a storm welt, very robust. It's on there real, real tight. And, but I, I don't like the fact that they had a plastic uh, shank like this, but you know what? Um, I'm not going to switch it out because that's not my call. And some people do like the uh, non-metal shanks. And we're going to fill this cavity with some, some cork and then keep going.
spot. All right, guys, so we have the cork in here now, and now I'm just gonna put a little glue all over the uh, cork and along the welt. And then we're going to put on some of these oak bark tanned uh, leather midsoles and stitch those on. And then it'll be uh, about time to add on the Christie uh, crepe soles. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so we told you we were gonna be running a little bit of a contest. So what we are gonna end up doing is we're going to try to resole a pair of shoes for a lucky subscriber um, each month for the remainder of this year. So what we want you to do, if you have a pair of shoes that you would like for us to resole for you free of charge, then leave a comment down below uh, with the subject title shoe restoration. Uh, type that into the inbox or type that into your comment, leave us a message, and then after 48 hours from the, the time we post this video, Heath and I are going to randomly pick 10 people and those 10 people will be notified by us and we will kind of go from there until we choose one lucky winner. And sometimes the, the worse condition, the better because yes. we, what, you want to do videos over them? So yeah, that's the other thing. If, whatever pair of shoes we choose, we will do a video on that pair of shoes. So if you have a really beat up pair of shoes, you're probably going to have a better chance than if it just has a little scuff on it. So just kind of keep that in mind. So, all right. this. All right guys, so we've got we've gotten the midsole put on, it's stitched on, and now what we're gonna do is just put several layers of glue on here before we uh, stick the final sole. Now the reason that we also put a midsole on it and stitch it uh, is it just gives a, uh, a better foundation when you're applying a sole such as this one. So if you were to just stick this directly onto uh, the cork, 
then it make it's a, too easy for it to be able to just heat up and peel right off. So when you put a midsole and you stitch that onto the boot, you know, it's going to hold firm on there. And then you put the glue and now you have a really strong foundation. So just in case you were wondering. So one of the things I like to do is put glue on and let it dry and then reactivate the glue using heat. So we just use a heat gun and go over it and uh, it brings it back to life but allows it time to get down into any of the pores and cure. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is just condition the uppers on this boot uh, before we finish up. It's getting dried out, but it's also an oiled leather. Um, when you feel it, it's a smooth leather, but it's not really, it's not a Chrome XL leather by Horween, but it is an oiled infused type of leather. So what we're going to end up using, there's a couple of products you could use. Uh, you can always just put a conditioner on here, which would do just fine, but I have several pairs of oiled uh, leather boots myself and I like to use uh, this oiled leather cream, which is, does a really good job with this, and this one is brown tinted, so it should cover up a lot of the scuffs on this boot. You can put this on with a cloth, but what I like to do is I use, I like to use these rubber gloves and then just kind of work it in with my hand. Alright guys, so we have finished up on this pair of boots. By the way, uh, we had mentioned earlier in the video that we had no clue what brand this was because the liners had been taken out and there was nothing else stamped on the boot. Uh, while I was polishing the boots, I did notice a little stamp up on the tongue of the shoe on the outside. So they are Wilcox boots. Uh, we looked into those and they run around the mid 200, upper 200 range. Um, and from what we saw, they look like really, really well-made boots. Yeah. Um, so definitely a brand maybe you should look into and we might do a review of them later on. But anyways, Wilcox. So what we did on these boots, as you can see, we took off the original leather, had the rubber sole protectors. One of those had come off. Uh, he'd worn into the rubber heel pads. We took all of that off and he wanted to have the white uh, Vibram Christie crepe soles put on. So um, we put those on there, polished them up. 
they're good to go. And it looks like from going through their website, they actually had one that had a thicker midsole yeah. and a Christie on there. So maybe that was his inspiration for one to go that way. Yeah. So anyways, they look good. Uh, if you didn't see earlier in this video when we talked about the contest, make sure you rewind it and check it out. Uh, again, if you're interested in us redoing any of your shoes, then definitely leave us a comment below. Again, we appreciate you joining us, and until next time, have a good day.